Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Oshinoko Season 2, Episode 6. Uh, last episode was great. Uh, we got to see a side of Akane which I figured was coming, but uh, it was still a shock to see it in kind of practice. Um, she was really ride or die, like he um, hypothetically uh, kind of explained the situation to her, like what if I was to like say I needed to kill someone, blah blah blah. And then I think he kind of did lean into it more when she was like, I'd help you, shit I'd do it for you. Um, so that was awesome. Um, she's real, she's not all there in the head, but you know what, she's a 10 out of 10 character regardless, I love her. Uh, I ship her with uh, Aqua 100%. Um, and then also to do with Akane, but uh, with Kana as well. Uh, they had some beef going on in the episode, which was very entertaining, not gonna lie. <laughs> they were just firing shots at each other. Um, Kana was kind of winning though. And then the uh, episode ended with them about to start their first play, or about to start the play for the first time to the audience or to the kind of general public. So, yeah, it was very exciting. Uh, so, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go right into this episode right now. I wonder if we're actually going to get to see, like, most of the play here. Or it's just going to be, like, snippets and then... Wow, that was a really great session, well done. Oh, energy. And it's a rave. Cool. Didn't we see a glimpse of this already? Like, way episodes back? Oh, the... Oh, he has purple house still, okay. Oh, here we go, here's Aqua. Oh no, it's not awkward. It's that fucking little dickhead dude. Is it? Who is it? I actually can't tell who that is. Can't tell if it's a dude or a woman. There's Aqua. Let's go, boy. And that's it. That's the whole show. Thanks for coming, guys. Yo. Are we are actually getting to see it. Okay. I'm locked in. Oh, there's the sword. Oh, I like that we get to actually see them up close. I thought the whole thing was going to be from the audience point of view. Oh, she's on wires. They're going to do some like acrobatics and shit here. Yo, this is fucking sick. That her expression is sick. Oh, I like that's like on a matter using like manga and stuff. That's cool. This is epic. Wow. The camera angles are so cool. Yeah, just traveling music. Yeah, that's just the only two options. All right. Oh wow, the set. Let's see if his acting's improved. Damn, okay, so he's been putting point in work into his acting, he's gotten a lot better. Oh, and the Demon Slayer music is going on here. Oh, some more extra people here. It's the dude on the left, is that the one that was trying to... Get with the pink haired girl and now uh, Aqua's sister. End of Act One. Is it Act Two the same day? They're like, is this is this a chance for people to go and have a break? It is him, isn't it? I think that's his voice. Well, got to give him the props he deserves, I guess. If he's a good doctor. Damn it, I want to be better than this guy. They're really like giving giving scenes to kind of talking about this dude at the moment. I wonder why. Maybe it's just because of the scene that they're on. But outside of the actual play. 
but he's improved. Yeah, just a personal thing. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of sick. I mean, he has been trying super hard for this. Oh yeah, sweet today offer. What? That bro, what the fuck? Bro got abused? That's fucking crazy. No wonder he turned out the way he did. My god. That's rough. Just getting into middle school and that happens to you? I mean, that happens to you in general, but still. <laughs> yeah. But you were hired for your looks. It's not like you've had this training since you were a kid. That makes sense. If anything, not being, not needing to take loads of breaths between lines. Makes sense. But they're also doing a lot of physical acting on screen here. Oh, people are saying that, really? Come on, prove them wrong. Come on. What's he talking about? Oh, so he's really just gonna go prove his, like, bring his A game in this one moment. Exactly, so you gotta go, like, blow him. Like, come on, let's go. You gotta show your shit right now. Oh, shit. Bro, that's crazy for a stage play. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. <laughs> this is so great to see. Oh, even she's shocked. I like the detail of like when they're drinking water, like they're drinking it for a straw, so they don't mess up their makeup. He's very physical. He's even shocking him, damn. I mean, it is what it is. They've clearly been doing it so much longer. He was really left out a lot of these rehearsals. That sucks. He puts so much effort into this. Is he even reading the manga as well? Damn, he's really become the character. Or is he can really, like, merge with him. He's putting everything into it right now. Yeah, because from his own experience. This is real frustration. Damn. Oh, the art. Let's go. Damn, this is cool. Oh, that's the that's that's the you from the past. That's the you you're gonna leave behind. From now on, you're gonna be a tr a proper actor. Oh, this is crazy. This guy's not even the main character. He's nowhere near the main character, and he's getting this this treatment. Damn. Does he lose anyway in the play? Damn. Damn, everybody was shocked, even the author. Aww. 
I'm glad she got to see that side of him as well. He better, he better put some respect on his name. Good. He deserves that. Damn, his fucking hands! Let's go. Right, so that was Oshinoko Season 2, Episode 6. It was a very good episode, very good start to the stage play. I'm really happy this guy has kind of put so much effort into improving as an actor. And from the advice that Aqua gave him, um, you know, even if the audience thinks you're shit, that means their expectations are low, which means you have the chance to absolutely, absolutely blow it out of the water with this one most important scene that you have. And um, he really sh showed off right there. Not just like, acting ability like obviously the frustration that he's gone through in real life um trying to learn this character and trying to make everybody kind of respect him um and trying to basically leave that shit role behind that he did for sweet roll uh, sweet today but also like the physical side of it as well like um kind of said he had good stamina um which you know he hasn't been slacking on which meant he could like do these crazy stunts and stuff like that during the play and it just really made it uh, like a special thing for the audience and for the author as well. And then the author of Sweet Today too, who also came to see how he was going to do. Um, but yeah, very good episode. I'm really happy for him. The art on like him going from this crappy, you know, face actor from Sweet Today all the way to where he is today um, and all that kind of jazz was incredible. Uh, it was really cool, really directed in a really cool way. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have an interesting day and peace out.